Okay, that, let's see this one, this three in one machine plus one two in one and also one manual laminating machine. These three machines together will be the simple setup for smaller repair shop. And let's see how we do iPhone 5 by using these three machines. The first step is using this 3-in-1 machine, and this machine has two, three functions together. The first one is manual LCD separator. <laughs> and this one is to connect with one vacuum pump, so the screen can get, uh, can get stuck there by the battery. Okay. So the first step is manual LCD separator. Okay, you can see that the correct L uh, the screen it is separated from the LCD. Yeah, and then uh, you you will need to clean the debris, the tiny glasses on the LCD. And the second step, it is glue removal. For iPhone 5, 5S, 5C, and also uh, iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, because the polarized film that is just under the glue. So, uh, while you use the glue removal machine to remove the glue, it is better to get the polarized film removed together. See, now the polarized film it, it is removed also. Okay, see, and you will find then uh, there are still some um, a little glue on the LCD and also some maybe some polarized on the top. So we will have to use the basic uh, the razor blade or the cleaning liquid to make the LCD very clean. Next step. It is for cleaning. And this manual LC, uh, the, the this manual laminate machine to be connected with vacuum pump as well. See for for the top uh, of the glue and the polarized film, you can use a small blade to help you to get it out. And while you use the small blade to clean on the LCD, you have to make sure that the blade it is in balance, so it won't get scratched. Uh, it won't uh, damage the LCD or get it scratched. And this kind of liquid, it is a special liquid for glue removal. And it, uh, you, you can use the alcohol mixed with alcohol, the industrial alcohol to have a try.
and then after clean, we will put the LCD on the manual illuminating machine and to paste the OCA film and progress the film on the LCD. And for polarizer film, it has direction. Usually, the, the one uh, there is one line on the polarizer film, and the side which has deeper color that is face upside. Because of the protect the field and then press down. And after uh, pr pasting the polarizer film, next step it is uh, laminate the OCA film on polarizer film. Usually we will use this uh, we call it a uh, tear sticker to peel off the protect film for both the OC, uh, for the polarizer protector and the OCA protector, make it more easier. See, and then press down. And during this process, you have to make sure that there is no bubbles after you paste it. You can see that there is no bubbles at all. And then peel off the OC film, the protect film on the ochre glue. Okay. And then we will need to use this alignment mode to do alignment for, for the new glass with the LCD. And this matte mode, which is more accurate than the plastic one before. And then we use a new glass. Make sure it is clean. And, and later while you put the new glass on the LCD, make sure that you do not uh, press the glass to the LCD by your finger. Just put it on the LCD and then take it out will be fine. Okay, see. Make sure that you, you do not press the LCD, uh, press the glass on the LCD and then put it in the 2-in-1 machine. This 2-in-1 machine uh, has two functions together. The first one it is OCA vacuum laminator and the last, uh, another one it is bubble remover. So um, th this machine is designed for smaller repair shop because it is more easier to process and with less machines. Make sure these four screws are very tightened before you start operation. And this machine, it will connect with the vacuum pump and also an air compressor. See, here, this is the lamination, laminating pressure. Usually it is uh, between two and four. Usually three, it is fine. And this is the bubble pressure. It is around six. And here it is vacuum degree, which is directly controlled by the vacuum pump. And here it is vacuum extraction time. Usually it is one minute and this lamination time is 15 seconds. And temperature here is 40 degree. And the time it is between um, 8 minutes to 10 minutes. So, yeah, so you, you can adjust it by yourself based on the different 
uh, size of your LCD. And here this button it is for you to adjust the lamination pressure. And here this button it is for you to uh, adjust the debubble pressure. And here it is vacuum pump hose and here it is air compressor. See this is a vacuum pump. The oil is small which is very powerful. Yeah, after you make it setting well and then st click this start, start button will be fine. See. And for the detail settings, you can uh, check our user manual. We have the English version user manual for this machine. And the vacuum degree for the vacuum pump, it, it is near uh, 0 0.1. See, now it is very near now. Okay, so the first... Now, now the second step, lamination time, it is start now. So you can see that the light, the, 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 the light, it becomes bright. Okay. Yeah. While this one get start to work, it means it is begins to do bubble removal. And see here, the pressure goes up. Okay, you, you, you can see that the, the time it is up now, it is 8 minutes. Eight minutes. So uh, while the time it is due, you will find that here the pressure it goes to zero, and, and here this, the, this two light, it, it becomes green and one becomes red. Okay, and then we, we take out the product. You have to make sure that the, the pressure is goes to zero and then you can open the door. So it will make make it more safe. Okay, you can see. No bubbles at all. Okay, you can see that it is very uh, beautiful, just like um, a new, totally new one. Okay, and here you can see that uh, for this one, iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and this is Note 2 and uh, uh, Mega, Samsung Mega. Th these all LCDs are made by this 2-in-1 machine. So this one it fit for all the size that are under 7 inch. And even for the iPad, you can put it here as well. Okay. okay you, you can see the size here. 7 inch. Okay. And it is 11 inch. So for, for the iPad mini, you, you still can... See here, it, it can fit for 11 inch LCD screen, at least. So this one it is very cost effective. And then remove the uh, screw for the blade. This is the last step for iPhone, but for other phones like Samsung and other uh, like HTC and other phones, no need to do basic lamination. And then here, 
Here it is the mode together with the three in one machine. You will need to use this mode to um, make to make the new LCD together with the base frame. And the base frame itself has a hot glue on it already, so you do not need to use any extra glue or stickers. And then put put it in the mode. And together with this machine, we have the mode for iPhone 4, 4S, iPhone 5, 5S, 5C, and also 6 and 6 Plus. Put it in the mode flatly. Okay. And then put it here. And you have to wait that the temperature is up to 170. Done. For three to five seconds, then you can get it, take it out. Okay. And once you finish it, you can touch the uh, LC LCD. Uh, only there is high temperature in in the edge around the edge, but in the middle center, middle there is no high temperature. It means that uh, the high temperature it won't damage the LCD. And then uh, after you take, take it out from the machine, you have to uh, wait for a while until the, the LCD get a little cool and then get the product out. See, it is very cool. Okay, so th this is the whole step for iPhone 5 LCD refurbishment by using these three machines. Yeah, so it is, it is very cost effective and convenient to do. If you have any questions, you can come to us. Thank you for watching.